story is about Edmund Gunter, an early 17th century English clergyman, mathematician, professor of astronomy, who made a huge difference because of his practical interest in innovation and making a difference. So uh, putative uh, policy makers will be interested in Gunter's story, but I want to interest you more in the meaning system within which you can understand Gunter retrospectively. The meaning system is an ancient Greek meaning system involving the gods Kairos and Metanoia. We're talking 500 BC. We're talking about a Greek god of opportunity depicted with wings on his feet and his back, depicted with a razor in front, cuts in, depicted with a great forelock. You can grab him by the forelock, but ball at the back because once he's gone, gone. Accompanied by a goddess named Metanoia. Now, here we're getting into interesting territory because we're talking about transformational uh, attitudes, transformational analysis, cerebral, uh, transformational hope, affective, and transformational regret. Again, affective and cognitive. Uh, we're also talking about transformational uh, attitudes. We're talking about attitudes, uh, not merely ephemeral emotions, but the attitudes as of a compass needle, which has an attitude facing magnetic north that is not dependent on your emotions, an attitude that's solid. Okay, so we're talking about Edmund Gunter, the story of Gunter, uh, illustrating all of that all of that Greek uh, meaning system, okay? So the story of Gunter illustrates it in this way, that he made a permanent difference to the way that surveying was done. He made a permanent difference to the way that uh, surveying was represented to what appeared on a title deed. So prior to Gunter, you get, uh, oh, following the river and then, then, then following the ridge and so on. And this area of land will support so many families. So that so that a rent can be appropriately calculated from the title deed. However, after Gunter, you see empirical cadastral measurements and the measurement of an area of land. Now, that's the difference that Gunter makes on the title deed, okay? And this makes a huge difference to the way that commerce works with land. This makes uh, this makes land, uh, this makes the, the entire colonial project possible. So this is a very exciting cultural development that makes a permanent difference. So Gunter, how did he do it? Well, what he first of all he analysed uh, very carefully. Uh, the, uh, the the English inheritance concerning how you measure land. Well, there was an acre of land which would support so many people. An acre of land which was uh, which was uh, uh, perhaps uh, forty rods long. A rod was a unit of measurement made by a stick. Forty rods long and four rods across. Uh, four rods equals uh, actually twenty-two yards. A yard is three feet, a feet is 12 inches, and so, so we have this, this hodgepodge of inherited measurements. Uh, but 40, hang on a minute, 40 rods long by four rods across is an acre. Uh, that's an acre of cultivated land. You have another kind of acre of wooded land, which is much bigger. So it's all rather complicated, this business of measuring land and what appears on the title deed. Uh, but after Gunter, you get a standardised acre. And how does he do that? Well, 40 rods long and four rods wide, he takes a four rod uh, length, a four rod width, if you like, and then he, he makes a chain, a physical chain with a hundred links in it. So suddenly, a hundred links by a thousand links, that is ten lots of a hundred, equals an acre. Suddenly, he's introduced a foreign idea of decimals and overlaid it, uh, just as he wants to introduce the foreign uh, language ideas concerning trigonometry and so on. So he makes the precursor to the slide rule at the same time that he's doing this chain thing. He's revolutionising the business of surveying because he's making surveying auditable. Another surveyor can come along and check on the first surveyor's work so that surveyors no longer get away with guesswork, no longer get away with cutting corners or just 
you know, putting on the title deed an approximation that looks pretty good. No longer is that ever going to happen after Gunter. So Gunter makes an enormous difference by means of, let's, let's look at it again, this Greek meaning system, transformational analysis, that is taking the linear thinking, the linear logic, and, and overlaying on that a foreign meaning system or a, a, a coming up with a hybrid, a practical hybrid, or if you like, a practical uh, cross-fertilization and ending up with a brand new tradition that makes an enormous difference into the future. So it makes the entire colonial project possible by means of sending out surveyors and fencing off land. This is repeatable, it's auditable, and it's quantifiable, and it appears on a title deed, which makes a difference permanently to the way that land is thought of commercially. So, so if you're interested in um, if you're interested in policy making, you'll be interested in this kind of capacity for innovation.